Hi and hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series! As you can see, those the initiated know that we are going to be playing Icewind Dale, the Enhanced Edition, and I am Berg787 and I'm going to be joined in this long, awesome adventure with my cool buddy multiplayer chums who we've done other series with. They are Torior and Grey Hunter. Say hello chaps. Hello. Hello. Right, before we actually get started in the game, we're going to spend a couple of seconds just talking about who we are. We've each taken two characters, as you can see. And we um, spared you the dice rolling. Uh, yeah, we spared <laughs> the hours and hours of dice rolling to make sure our characters were as good as possible. Get me something um, higher my... than 79, you bastard. Yeah, the Not amount that I'm of, bitter. Um, the amount of... Yeah, the amount of... Oh, crap, I just missed it. I just re-rolled when I hit a 90. Uh, that annoyed me, but... Uh, anyway, right, my two characters. I am Lord Berg, Thief Fighter. Is uh, obviously a fighter thief, rather. Not Thief Fighter, Fighter Thief. But anyway, he's a half-elf. Pretty good. He's um, going to be more a bit long rangy. He's got longbows, too, and I think daggers, too, which you can't see on his little inventory there, but we'll talk about that more once we're in the game. Uh, we are all good or neutral characters, is that right? I think so. Yes. Uh, and my other character is Orc Shanks, who's a half-orc uh, fighter cleric, which I kind of like the idea of. I kind of got that idea. Stole it a little bit from Torior when we were doing this a couple of days ago. It's kind of like a shaman-esque. That's kind of the angle I'm going at, sort of. But anyway, there we go. They're my guys. Um, I have two guys as well. Tim the Dwarf, who is... Um, I actually went both fight half-fighters as well as Berg did. Because, yeah, close combat and fighting is just fun in such games. And Tim is a dwarf, he's a cleric slash fighter, and he will be using dual warhammers, because why the hell not if you can do that, right? And he will be washing his beard in his enemy's blood. And Schmendrick the Magician is um, a little bit less aggressive, maybe. He's also um, half fighter and half mage this time. And he will be sort of a support mage mostly, buffing his party and debuffing the enemy. Also, mm, charging into combat, because yeah, close combat mages, that always works out fine, right? Yeah, and, and also quite importantly, for those watching my stream, uh, he has Identify, saves us loads of money. But yeah, <laughs> good. At 100 anyway. gold a pop for identifying stuff, Schmendrick is like the most vital part of the team, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> if Schmendrick well, dies... Then we have to go when, all the way you... back to revive him because he's that key. Well, I was going to say when you think it costs us like a hundred gold a pop just to revive someone as well, like you know, oh god, it's like doubly, doubly annoying if Schmendrick dies. Oh but anyway, lord. okay. Uh, and my character, well, I am two females because you don't want it to be a sausage fest. It's an adventuring company. Come on, guys, seriously. So I've got two characters as well, and the first one is Lady Grey. She's a ranger who took the archer subset. So her specialty is going to be longbows. So she got two points in that. And she'll also be going with scimitars because nobody else picked them and they seem kind of interesting. So why not? And Juno Aurelian is a pure fighter. I also didn't multi-class because I just don't like the way it works in Icewind Dale. So my two are pure fighter and ranger. Um, Juno Aurelian yeah, also, is a sort of a sword and board kind of girl. She's going to be using shields and long swords because, you know, why not? Why not, indeed? Why not? Surf and turf. Also, when you said you don't want it to be a sausage fest, I do remember the fellowship was a sausage fest. So it was, no. and that's why it failed. <laughs> that's probably why it did fail, actually. I'm just putting it out. Right. If they'd had a woman along, just if they just had one woman going, you don't want to go up that mountain pass, Gandalf. True. Everything could All have been avoided. Have been See, right there. That's true. What they also needed was R one of them. Maybe not R one. Yeah, but then, then, then old Aragorn would have been distracted constantly, mm. pining for her. But anyway, all right. <laughs> so that's for the the well, I think an old Hobbit woman would be much more sensible. That fat, that fat bint that Sam fancied, whatever her name was, Miss Sally or something like that. <laughs> what was her name? <laughs> something like that. Anyway, you enough, tell us, viewers. Babble, you tell we? us. Yeah, you tell us. We've uh, that, that's our party. Now we get into the game. So uh, get ready for the prologue. Awkward silence. Still getting ready for the pro prologue. Yeah, it's it's thinking about it. Should we do the <laughs> prologue? I'm hoping our we do the prologue. There we go. Here. Yeah, it's in a quiet fishing village of Eastwick. 
one of the so-called Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. So in true D&D style, we met in a bar. <laughs> in true D&D style, we're just sitting around drinking. Yep. Obviously the way it's meant to go. Mm-hmm. Right. Some awesome loading times in this game. <laughs> it's not our fault. It's really old. Yeah, it is. Still it's awesome, not our computers, but old. Multiplayer. It's... Don't worry. This is just building up suspension. <laughs> suspension. Yeah, yeah. yeah suspension. You know what I mean. Yeah. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. What? Who might you be? Well, greetings, Hofgar. My name's uh, Lord Berg, fighter thief. Well then, welcome to Easthaven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. Oh, you dick. Okay. That sounds, that sounds that sounds a little bit aggressive there, Hrothgar. What do you take us for, a band of brigands? Well, he's clearly the sheriff. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. Yeah? All right, okay. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. Nothing like throwing out a few frets and then saying, yeah, have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Oh, is Quimby uh, paying you to say that? Some sort of free advertisement? Well, if he's paying, it's not free. Can be purchased next door. <laughs> well, yeah. Emporium. True. Pumab's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. Yeah, shite. He'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travellers don't last long in these Yeah, key word being shite. <laughs> Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Why don't you discuss it now? All right, well, whatever. Farewell. Clearly, it's not for the ears of the plebs, Berg. Gosh. <laughs> also, your half-orc is ginger. Yeah? What, 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 what's <laughs> what your problem it? with ginger feet? <laughs> yeah, what of it? Never seen a ginger half-orc. Well, have you ever seen a half-orc? <laughs> Fair point. Well, the first Today, our <laughs> arrived in the snowy lakefront community known as East Haven. Should I read that? Is that what's happened? Yeah, you know, the journal entry. We are in half frozen from the road. We hastily made our way into the local tavern to find a hot meal and some friendly conversation. Scarcely had we seated ourselves at the table by the hearth when we were approached by a burly warrior who called himself Hrothgar and made a bunch of threats against us. Basically. Seemed friendly enough, really. But sometimes his <laughs> eyes, <laughs> something in his eyes, warned us that he wasn't one to cross. He politely asked us to come see him at his home, a couple of doors west of the tavern, to discuss business of some sort. See, basically, Hrothgar is kind of uber passive aggressive. It's kind of like, yeah, make yourself a home, but don't fuck around. <laughs> kind of like, all right. Um, all right, before we do anything else, let's go and talk to this guy, Hildrift Highhammer, because he's someone who we might need to talk to. Cool. Might be a good idea. Uh, do you, one of you guys want to talk to him? Hildritzer, I can't talk to him. Where's my Schmendrick? Hello, I'm Schmendrick, the magician. Well met! Why, you, you seem to me like fresh new vein of ore. All untried and untested. I be Hildreth, should you wish to know. He's a vein pirate. Vein of ore? What? what do you... <laughs> he is, yes. I am a person. What do you mean, vein of ore? Well, what I'm saying is, is that you look a little new to this adventuring thing. No, no offense attended. Uh, we all have to start somewhere. If you be looking for tips, uh, I have some news that might prove interesting to you. Um, okay. What do you have for us? I'm not all eyes and ears here. Mostly I've been keeping to my cups to keep the chill away. But I've heard that a local sword named Hofgar is putting together some sort of expedition. Sounds like it might be fun. I'll be going along myself. Oh, we, yeah, we met him. He threatened us. Uh, what do you know about the expedition? 
Well, the folks round here say that Hrothgar be a valiant man, but not the type to go dashing off to his death. They say he be an excellent leader. We're headed up to the mountains to investigate some sort of disturbances up there. You'd be best talking to Hrothgar himself to hear the full story. Well, yeah, it... Uh, if you're going, then surely it is a worthy adventure. You seem like a seasoned adventurer, and it will surely benefit from your company. For now, farewell, my good sir. Well, he basically told us what Hrothgar already told us. All right, let's go and talk to Grisella. She looks preoccupied. I'll go on. Yeah, she'll be all right. Lucas, you take that one. No, I don't want to. I can't do good Hello women there, voices. Deary. Welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you, love? She sounds like she's uh -huh. high. Yeah, well, she is high. She's been drinking all day. Uh, <laughs> I have some questions. No, actually, how about a drink? A drink? Well, of course, dearie. After all, this is a tavern, I think. Uh, plenty to drink here. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah, well, um, you see, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. Um, I've just run out of everything. No, no, no booze, no, nothing. I have nothing to offer you in the way of drink at this moment, sorry. What, what, what kind of tavern are you running here? Well, the, the, the tavern hasn't run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... Um, but, uh, uh, but what? Um... Well, this is rather embarrassing, but I, I, I'm having somewhat of a pest problem down in the dirty old cellar, and I am afraid to go down there. Uh, you see, I'm only a frail woman. Uh, I do so hate bugs. Uh, just the thought of these nasty creepies and crawlies sends me shivers down my spine. A big girl like you afraid of bugs? Come on, show a little backbone, Grisella. <laughs> big, big girl like <laughs> Impertinent stranger, look, uh, up here in East Haven, we may be out on the frontier, but we do manage to act civilized towards one another. If you can't at least try to be polite, then there's the door. Go. Oh, look, 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 look. My, my apologies, Grisella. I'm sorry. Is there anything we can do to help with your problem? Well, that's awfully sweet of you, dearie. Uh, I will uh, overlook that um, impoliteness. From before, but I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something on my own. No need to trouble yourself. Oh, have no fear, madam. I shall see that this is best to put down below you trouble you no further. Oh, my hero, wonderful. The stairs to the cellar in the back room. Now go, you be careful down there. Um, dear, and don't let any of those little buggers creep up, up here, please. All right? All right, no problems. Let's go and do that. I'm um, probably just quickly equip our stuff. Uh, park oh, right. Our stuff. <laughs> Don't want to go down there trying to punch them. That one other thing poorly. is, yeah, just one other thing I want to do quickly as well is shift our party. Uh, this doesn't show up for you, does it? But I've put my two guys as the top two guys on the bar at the side. Does it all? Is it just the same for you, though? No. Uh, it's it's uh, the same. I mean, no, it's not. It's individual. Okay, well that's fine. Are we ready to go in? I believe so. But were you guys going to wait for your characters? Alright, let's go smite some bugs. Oh, uh, well, we're down here now. Alright, let's export our characters. The bugs won't... Oh, shit, they are attacking us. Alright, let's just kill the bugs first. Right, we, because we, we also have to export the characters just in case that something goes wrong. Well, if something goes wrong, we're not exactly getting masses of experience at this stage. Mm -hmm. Eat that bug! The oodles of on. experience from this four bugs. Okay. There we go. All so right. now it would be a good time to export them. Export, yeah, we're just going to export our characters. I'm just going to call them whatever. Just in case something happens. I was super efficient, and I've already done it. Ew. What are you okay. talking about? Anything to drink here, no? No, there's nothing down here, unfortunately. Only the bugs. All right, so we've done this first. We've, we've cleared out Grisella's cellar of dirty bugs. Very well. Um, we let me just her. go and speak to her. We did save her, because she was quite against these bugs. Yeah. Come on, Chappie, go and speak to her. <laughs> the orc is in the way. Yeah, the orc, don't worry, the orc doesn't like talking. Any luck getting rid of these nasty bugs, dearie? My customers are getting pretty thirsty. It's done! Those bugs won't be troubling you anymore, Grisella, don't worry. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. You're a live server. Just do me one more favor, please. Uh, keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking Grizzella's place isn't clean. Yeah, run along now. Uh, okay. Cheers. Thanks for the five gold. We'll be sure to spend it wisely. Don't spend it all. All right, let's leave this dump. Let's leave this bug-ridden dump and go and actually <laughs> do some adventuring. Hell yes. So we have done our first quest. <laughs> Great success. We are truly adventurers. Uh, someone wants to come along. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're all outside. Uh, should now, we... We have played a little bit ahead, dear viewer, uh, previously, so we know kind of where we're going on this prologue. Just, just this area. Should we go and speak to Hrothgar first? Probably. Um, yeah, his house is right Hrothgar here. Listens. Yeah, so let's go into his house first. Yeah. Whoever that is down there, is that you, Tori? That's me, yeah. I'm co I color coded myself as blue. Yeah. yeah. So when, when, and when you are such a pretty blue. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. These are awesome loading times. <laughs> they are One day sweet. we will teleport into Hrothgar's house. One day. Maybe. But you know what it's like, viewers. You know at the beginning of these uh, RPGs, there's always a little bit of flapping around before you actually get onto the good stuff. So bear with us. Just enjoy our awesome voice acting. Damn straight. <laughs> well met, friend. And welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable. But try not to break anything. Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have sentimental value. Sentimental value? You don't strike me as the sentimental type, Profgar. Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I've picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. Fortune and glory, eh? <laughs> Looks to me like you've had more in your share of glory, if not fortune. I've seen my share of fortune as well, rest assured. I've beheld more treasure than most kings, I'm waiting. All right, no one likes a bragger. <laughs> but it wasn't for coins that I fought and bled all those years. It was for something grander, more powerful than mere riches. Adventuring is something that is in your blood, not in your purse. Should have chosen so coins. I so badly want to say that he's daft, but I'm not going to. Um, well said, I too hear a similar call to adventure. Indeed. Well then, this might interest you. I'm putting together an expedition of sorts, one which would surely provide opportunities for both fortune and glory. This is the business I wish to speak to you about. Really? Tell me more about this expedition. We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, 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 what sort of evil forces are we talking about here? Be more specific, man. I don't really know. The yeah. message wasn't too specific. <laughs> How convenient. If you want more details, you could ask yeah. old Everard over at the temple. But time's a-wasting. Who? Everard? Okay, I guess we'll go and speak to him in a minute. We need to get this expedition moving before the snows seal off the pass to Kaldahar. So what's it going to be? Are you in or out? Well, if there's treasure to be had, we're in. Am I right, boys? Yeah, money. See, I just want to be the one who says, nah, sounds too dangerous, adventure over. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that, That's the game, That's everyone. The That's the done, yeah. All right, well, if there's treasure to be had, I'm in. I don't know about these guys. Yeah, all right. Excellent. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Uh, what sort of matters? You know, maybe we can help out, speed things up. Get paid. Get paid, yeah. <laughs> Possibly. Well, Pomab sounds like a moaner to me anyway, but anyway. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Kaer Dinable is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Now, normally I take Pomab's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way... It would be best to make sure that caravan makes it. All right, so so what, what do you want from us? I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinosha, between East Haven and Caer Denable. Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Okay, so what you're saying is, you chumps go out and risk your neck. I'll stay here where it's safe. Good. 
Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Kaldahar Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. All right, layers. <laughs> so we should probably watch out for this guy. He has an illicit head on his wall. He has a what? Illithid, oh, you know, the mind does, player. Yeah, 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 the, mm, indeed. He's collected Hrothgar's his fair share it. of trophies. This yeah. All right, I'm just going to go and steal whatever Hrothgar has. <laughs> <laughs> and hope he doesn't catch you. He ain't going to catch me. I'm Master Lord, Thief. Yeah. All right, that's that stupid note that says don't steal from me, isn't it? So we don't want that. But you okay, should so. show it so that people can see it. I will because it is it. quite I will funny. Show. I will show. Yeah, Okay. Well, basically, if you try and steal from Hrothgar, this happens. We take this note, and, uh... If you're reading this note, then obviously you are a thief come to rob me of my hard-won riches. Sorry to disappoint you. Did you really think I'd keep my valuables in such an obvious and unguarded place? Consider this note a warning. I do not care much for those who would poke their noses where it doesn't belong, and anyone caught practicing thievery in the town of East Haven should ousen to me. Signed, Hrothgar. All right. Cheers, Lord Hrothgar. Marshal of Jerkwads. Uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to leave that on the ground. Now, uh, a bow. What kind of bow is this? It is a short bow. No one went with short bows, right? Uh, no. Okay, okay, but there is some arrows here, so I will keep these arrows for myself. For you should keep here. the bow. I know you need some as well. Because you can sell it. I'm keeping the bow. I'm not just leaving it. We'll sell it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> We're true adventurers. We sell shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about looting. All right, let's, let's get the hell out of Hrothgar's. Stinks in here. Stinks of old man. What's that carpet there? Can you see it? Look, that big... Rug thing uh, next to the fireplace. Looks like uh, I can't looks recognize like something it. Something with an incredibly big penis. That's a tail. Oh, <laughs> you just ruined everything for him, Toriel. So <laughs> disappointed, yeah. Everything. All right, are we just gonna basically wait? There was nothing in any of these houses, right? When there was a very um, valuable wolf pelt. Yeah, yeah but that but was down here. That was down there. I remember it. Um, I think there was a spear in this one, because uh, viewers, we did. Run around this first area already. We did. Alright, just... you go in there. I tell you what, we'll, we'll meet you and the priest in the church over here because mm. we should go and speak to them first as well. Where are you going, Lucas? I'm going for a wander. Right. I remember well, there was value down to... here. Um, the pelt was uh, down further, I think. Okay, so should we just get all the pelts? Should we get all this all this stuff first before we go and speak to the priest? Yeah, I think so. Why not? All right. Do we want to do that on screen or off screen? So people don't have to watch us wandering well, around. That's fine. We'll do it on screen. But because we, we, we're all watching different things. So some of you can like, you know, if someone's watching your feed, then they're watching you go and get stuff. Where if they're watching my feed, they're watching me stand next to uh, this chappy over here. What's his name? Aspel. Because Aspel's going to give us a little quest in a second. Should we wait Indeed. actually before we go and deal? Should we wait until we go and deal with what Aspel needs us to do? We probably should, yes. Yeah. I found right. a blue lady. Let's go Something amiss? Yeah, have you found the blue lady? I did. I'm going to talk to her. All right. Okay. Hello. So she doesn't actually have any dialogue, but this woman has the, has the skin like the surface of the lake, light green hair, and delicate features like that of an elf. At your approach, she begins to sing a soft flowing song, like the sound of a great undersea current, but you have no idea why this song reminds you of that. In a moment, the song and the feeling passes, and the woman looks at you hopefully. I, actually, I've voice acted both, them. haven't I? So it's yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll do her. Don't you, worry. Yeah, you, you could be judo. I'm gonna go with option oh, well, I'm one. Doing... Okay. Who, who, who in the hells are you? What are you doing here? The woman looks pained, but she does not respond. Well, I suppose. Well, option e. Number two, it seems. Well, talk, eh? Some steel will teach you to speak, are you sure? <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> and, uh, what, what? Some steel will teach you to speak up when the betters address you. She looks startled and suddenly vanishes, her body streaming away to water. All right, okay. And yet, she's she still standing see. there. Oh, no, there she goes. She disappears. Ah. All right. She exploded. Pity. That's a shame. All right, no problem. Did you get the wolf pelt? Did someone pick up the wolf pelt? I did. I did get it. So we've got all of that. All right. Now yeah. let's go and speak to the priest, then go to Poabs. Also, then it's we'll... um, about time we wrap this up, probably. Okay. You want to end the first episode here, then? All right, we what we'll do should. is we will, 
we will. Uh, this is going to be the end of this first episode. Then it's just a little introduction, obviously getting you, getting us off on the right foot. Uh, you know, showing our characters and stuff like that. What we'll do is we'll do a little bit of the running and fetching off camera, so that the next time you see us of our episode two, we're in a bit more of a better position to go and smite some stuff. Okay. So, uh, do some so shopping as well. Yeah, we'll do some shopping and stuff like that. You don't need to watch a shop. Um, so yeah, we'll try. We'll try and keep these bits better so that once we're in the actual action fighty part, which you're all going to want to watch, uh, you know that won't be too far away. But anyway, as it's a new series, thank you very much for watching. Please hit those like buttons, show support, leave your comments, suggestions, all that kind of jazz for whoever's point of view you're watching, because we always love interacting with viewers and we really do appreciate all your feedback. And until next time, or until tomorrow, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. See ya.